what is up guys it's another beautiful day i'm gonna be covering a quick subject today been asked for it's been asked for a lot um long and short of it we're gonna be covering acceleration and retreat so stay tuned ready so we have the speedway no software open tuner studio we're gonna go into tuning acceleration enrichment we have this tab popping up before we continue let's cover briefly what acceleration enrichment is for you old school guys who maybe um, in the past have done some carburetor tuning acceleration enrichment is basically the same thing as what a accelerator pump would do what it basically does I'm gonna make this really simple is that with quick changes of the throttle say at idle and you quickly stab your throttle it gives you that quick burst of fuel so you can have crisp um increasing revs so you won't have a stumble so you have like almost like motorcycle sounding <laughs> throttle inputs so yeah that's basically the gist of it on the the acceleration enrichment tab we'll have this table on the y-axis you have the percentage of fuel being added on the x-axis we have tps dot and that is scaled to percentage per second what this is quickly is that um, mega squad tuner studio speedreno it measures the rate of change of throttle position over seconds so what this is basically is um, say we stab the throttle to 100 percent and it takes us one second to do that that would be 100 percent per second if it took us maybe um, let's say half a second to do that you know that would be 500 percent per second if that makes any sense yeah so on in this table this table down here is basically this graph so what we'll be doing we okay let's move on into for the clean we'll get back to that here we have the tps <laughs> tps threshold the threshold basically needs to set needs to be set as low as possible but within reason what you need to do to find out where you need to set this is do a data log with your car just idling and with most electrical components tps not excluded you will have some electrical noise so you look at the data log look at your tps dot see where it flashes to most of them flash from anywhere to 30 40 50 60 depending on your electrical state mine doesn't flash at all but i just entered 40 here just so i have something just in case you decide to um, develop some sort of noise issue down the road um, so whatever it is say we do a, a data log and we see it's flashing we get random spikes to 30 percent per, per second what we do it's recommend that you en you enter something about 10 percent higher than that so you enter 40 45 there about acceleration time that's in milliseconds that's the length of the burst of fuel which you will be entering in the table above usually anywhere from um, 120 to 180 works for most setups but you will need to play with this a bit a bit and then you will figure out what works for you and lastly we have the taper start rpm and the taper end rpm what this is basically is um in the top top rpm say your car revs out to 6000 rpm usually in the higher rpm you won't need as much if not any acceleration enrichment in the top acceleration enrichment enrichment sorry is usually just off idle and a few thousand rpms above that when you get into high rpm it doesn't play that much of a of a role but what we don't want we don't want to just suddenly cut off acceleration enrichment so the taper would just be this threshold the uh, 4000 to 6000 basically the 2000 window where we slowly canceling out the acceleration enrichment so by 6000 rpm we won't have any acceleration enrichment this will be linear all done inside of the software all right go back to the top so in this table here we have percentage added like i said the tps dot you would just be stabbing the throttle in a digital log and you'd see where the TPS dot lands. These numbers here don't really, really 
but they're not really that important they are important but not super important <laughs> um but you just want to have a, a, a wide scale here so that you have everything covered depending on the rate of acceleration of the throttle and this number here is what you'll basically be playing with so at 30 percent we have 30 percent for at 50 percent tps well at 30 tps dot which would be percentage per second, like we explained earlier. I have 30% being injected, 50% on top of my VE table, and 300, we have 45%. At 550, we have 55%. The slope usually ends up looking something like this. Right? Um, also important, you need to have a pretty well-tuned VE table, your fuel map, before you can mess with TPS. Um, throttle acceleration and enrichment sorry um because if you have a really rich um fuel table it will basically be mimicking the extra fuel will be mimicking the tps acceleration enrichment sorry and it'll it'll basically you'll basically be chasing your tail so set the ve table get it working pretty good and then you move into the acceleration enrichment tuning so my car is pretty loud you more than likely will not here it was you'll not be able to hear me over the engine sound while it's idling and i'm holding a camera with one hand so it's a bit difficult what i will do this is my tunes tps dot table what i will do is that i will deliberately try to mess it up we'll rev the car out i will show you guys what it sounds like well you'll hear what it sounds like we'll do a data log which we'll look at in a bit and then we will try to throw these numbers back in there the numbers I know that work for my setup, and we'll show you the difference. So, with that, you'll be able to get the gist of what exactly works for TPS well, <laughs> acceleration enrichment tuning. So, we took out a bunch of fuel from the acceleration enrichment. Um, we'll be looking at the fuel ratio gauge to your bottom right and the RPM. So, we'll just do some quick stabs of the throttle should stumble a bit and we should see it going a bit lean as you can see we're idling somewhere in the mid 13s so it should go a bit lean with some stabs of the throttle see we're spiking up to 14 thereabouts it's a bit hard to catch just by looking at the air fuel ratio gauge which is why i always say to look at the data log afterwards and also bear in mind that the white band is played catch up. It does not get the FUL ratio reading immediately when it occurs in the engine. There's a delay, so don't go by the white band. We go by sound and fuel. Sounds like it can take a bit more fuel, so we'll do some adjustments. Well, let's catch a log here. And so that we can look at it later on. bad could be a bit better all right we're gonna stop that log and then we're gonna change the settings all right so we set this the tps the, <laughs> the acceleration enrichment to where we know it's working good from previous experience and then we're just going to do some quick stabs again and look at the FL ratio again. You can see we go in a bit rich afterwards that's that's fine for acceleration enrichment right we can see a couple seconds after the Acceleration enrichment. We still have a lean spike, so we're gonna play with this a bit. Make the acceleration enrichment a bit longer, the duration. Right, and then we're gonna go. Well, the car is warming up a bit more, so we our idle fuel ratio is going up. But let's try this again. See, we did 
been into the 12s, which is perfectly fine. 12s, 11s, so it may have a bit more than it needs, but that is better than not having enough. See? Well, that's the deceleration fuel cut happening in the end. So yeah, pretty simple. What you do, you basically just move. You can do this two ways. You can just enter higher numbers here, or you can just click on the dots and move the dots around till you get get it where you want, like this. And that's acceleration enrichment in a nutshell. So we have the data log open. Okay, top lines we have in the white we have RPM, red we have O2 green we have TPS the second graph red we have pulse width and green we have sorry the second graph we have red we have pulse width and the white we have the TPS dot so remember what I told you guys about the TPS dot so this is my TPS dot zero 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 if you have a noisy TPS you may end up with something flashing to 30 there about and a quick rule of thumb for acceleration enrichment tuning a quick style of the throttle should give you just about double the pulse width so we add in about 1.5 milliseconds pulse width a quick stab we have 2.4 which tells us that we close but we're not adding just enough fuel so right here 300 percent per second we have 2.5 which is a bit less than what we need and here's what happens so we add in somewhere in the 13s we get the 2.4 milliseconds and then just as that dies off we see fuel ratios go up rather than going down which tells us that we need a bit more fuel in there so we're gonna do that we're gonna add some fuel and then we're gonna look at the data log when that's done so this is what we have entered now we're gonna do the same test and then we're gonna look at the logs tip turn off diesel deceleration fuel cut when you're doing acceleration arrangement tuning it really messes it up um, still active here but we can see the green hair is the TPS the white is RPM so quick stab of the throttle see we idling around 14.1 there about quick stab of the throttle brings it down into the filters you can see a nice sharp increase in RPM no lingering no plateauing tells us we perfect goes down to 13s catches up go back goes back to the 14s and right here again yeah the idle is a bit <laughs> all over the place but uh, it's messing with it a bit okay but you get the point and uh, we have 12 9 quick start with the throttle we go up to the 13s go back down to the 12s and this car is over back in the 12s um, the change in FUL ratio is the fan cycling on and off so we have a bit of work to do with our injector voltage corrections so again 12.9 about 13.0 quick start of the throttle we go up to 13.2 go back down to the 12s and then it settles in and here go back down to the 12 but you get you get the gist of it so it sounds good FL ratios are staying steady and then you basically just keep playing with it till you get it working just how you want um, it takes a little bit of time to get it working crisp um, but a proper working 
acceleration enrichment um, table makes all the difference make the makes the difference between a shitty car to drive and a car that sounds perfect with every quick stab of the throttle hope you guys learned something hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment share subscribe do what you guys normally do and i'll catch you guys on the next one stay safe guys